Hello, and welcome to the fifth video in the Introduction to Shellgate Migrate series. So far, we've seen a quick overview of the UI, explained how to establish a SharePoint connection and how to run reports. We're finally at the migration portion. To start your migration task, click on Copy and the desired type of operation. For this example, we will start with copy structure and content in order to copy the entire source site collection. First, I am prompted to connect to my source. Unlike reporting, not all operations use the connections from Explore and you will likely need to connect to your source and destination every time. Once connected, I can drill down the list of site collections and select the site collection I want to migrate. Then I get to do the same for the destination. In this particular example, I'm looking to migrate the source site collection as a new site, so I don't need to choose anything more than just sites. Once the source and destination is selected, I can set up the operation itself. I could select the source site and simply click on Start Copy. But before we begin, let's take a quick look at the copy options first. At the top, I get to choose the new site's name and URL. By default, they will retain the same as the source, but you can change it if you want to. Under Operation Mode, I get to choose how the tool will copy the content should it already exist at the destination. The default is Copy and Replace, but I can choose any mode that I want. Don't copy existing items, copy and keep both, or both really self-explanatory or a copy if newer can be chosen for incremental copies. Note that in this particular example, I'm copying as a new site, so there would be no existing source content. Therefore, copy and replace is more than fine. This option is more important if you're copying content only, which we will view in just a moment, or if you're merging into an existing site collection. Under configurations, I get to choose what I want to keep from the source site and what I don't. For example, if I uncheck list content, the lists and libraries will be recreated in structure only, including the settings, the columns, but the content itself will not be migrated. In this particular example, I can only copy the site as a whole because I'm copying it as a new site. I can't copy a list or a library into the admin center directly. But if I was to double click a destination site, then I could choose to copy only a portion of the source site collection, such as lists only or SharePoint groups. The other common operation will be copy content only. The setup itself will be similar with the difference that you will need to select and specify a source list or library as well as the destination one. So I get to drill down through my sites, just like I did for copy structure and content. The difference is I will have to go through the site and select either a list or library. The same will be true of the destination as well. Once this is done, the menu and options are similar. In both cases, I have the mappings button at the top right. This allows me to set my user mappings, property mappings, or any other type of mapping that is available for the given operation.
There are many other types of migration operations, such as copy teams, which can copy entire teams or just channels either into the existing tenant or the destination tenant. We have copy mailboxes that will copy emails, calendars, rule sets, and contacts from existing mailboxes to the existing mailboxes of the destination tenant. We also, we also have import from external content in which we have import from file share or import from a Google workspace environment, including personal drives or shared drives. There is a third option here that does not exist within the UI, and that is import content from box.com. This is the only operation that is PowerShell only and can be run using our PowerShell scripts. You can visit our help center for more information as well as script examples on this topic. Thank you.